Hi. Were you waiting long? No. I walked here from the apartment and the garden on the corner was just blooming. I got a bit lost in the roses and bougainvillea. Of course you did. You know how I am about nature. I do. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, is, is this all of it? Everything I could find. Okay. Uh, if, if there's more stuff you didn't find, are we gonna have to do this again? I mean, you could always come by the apartment and check. I told you I don't want to do that. I know. I guess I just don't get why that would be so hard for you. You don't? No. I mean, you're the one who wanted to leave. You're the one who broke up with me. True, and I can see you're real broken up about that. I'm trying not to let anything get to me. <laughs> well, I certainly haven't been able to get to you. I've been trying for months. I've explained and explained. I've given you pamphlets and I've shown you videos. Cortisol levels kill. I found my way to a peaceful place and I'm staying here. So, you're just going to remain an emotionless meat sack for the rest of your life? <laughs> wow, that is such a wave of negativity you're throwing at me. I can't help it, Sienna. I don't, I don't know how to turn it all off. I, I feel things. You make me feel things. I used to make you feel things. I did give you that book about breathing. God, please stop. I don't, I don't want to know how to turn it all off. I would rather feel like shit than feel nothing. I just worry about you, John. I can feel the stress pouring out of you. It's not stress. It's, it's frustration. It's resentment. It's panic. Panic? Yes. Panic. I... Once I take this stuff and we go our separate ways, I don't know if I'm going to see you again. And that is panic inducing because against all of my better judgment, I still love you. Well, I love you too. Really? Yes. How can I tell? How can you tell? It's not that I'm unaware of my feelings, I'm simply not allowing them to impact. And that's suppression! Or repression! That is one of the pressions! I'm not suppressed or repressed. I'm in control. I'm breathing through and releasing. So, you were breathing through and releasing when you walked in on me with someone else in our bed? I mean, you certainly didn't seem to give a damn when I was blowing up our relationship just to get any kind of reaction from you. Just because I found my own sense of inner peace and my final personal equilibrium does not mean I don't have feelings. I simply float on them. Oh, you float on them. Yes, I float. So when I was begging you to show me any kind of reaction, you were floating. Yes. Okay. And when we had that big fight and I was throwing shit around the apartment, you were floating. Yes. And when you walked in on me, fucking someone else in our bed, you floated. Yes. And it didn't. It didn't bother you that I was. I was banging someone I didn't even know just to feel any sort of connection or or exuberance. Nothing to say. But but you love me. But you were floating. I recognize you were exploring your sexuality. I was exploring someone else's body and you were fucking fine with it! I was, was not! Dude. What? What? No, no, keep going! Say it! Scream it! Say it! You are such a selfish, hurtful ass! How dare you! Yes, yes! In I, our bed? I know! I, I, Sienna, I was an asshole to you and you have every right to scream and, and shout! Yes, I do! You hurt me! I know, I know, I didn't want to hurt you, but I needed you back! No, <laughs> I'm... Back! Yeah? I'm here screaming at you. Were you happy? Yes! Fuck yes, I'm happy! I love <laughs> you, Sienna! I'm gonna take it back. Are you as turned on as I am right now? Yes, <laughs> let's go home. Okay. Go. Hold on. <laughs>